again, you can see his step was not bad, but he lunged out of here and just, it's a whiff job here now. Tackled, his gap stepping, took his second step that was too far down in there. Knocks the guard too. Okay, the left tackle, again, he's coming down too much this way, and he has a nice tackle here. Okay, now, we're coming over here, and we're going to the bubble side. Now, what happened to us here is that our tight end, our second tight end coming over here in motion, he went too far. We want to, again, give him body presence. He's going to block this guy, our guard, pulling guard. Now we have a call. Let him know he's going to be a trapper on the end man on the line of scrimmage. Let's see, he got too far out. Again, he's got to do a little bit better job here on body presence. He's got to... That second step has got to be more at the defensive end. Then he's got to learn not to whiff. The lunge. Again here, see how he's grabbing here. <coughs> Step is better. Now come on off. Be ready here. But even with that, even with that, you knock this guy out of there. And this guy here, here he is. He's going to make the tackle. He's really not blocked. More often than not, that's what happens. They don't make the tackle. You know why? I'll tell you why. Because they're like offensive linemen, too. They got their guys standing heads down, their fucking eyes are closed. Oh, there's no ladies in here. Their eyes are closed, the whole bit. Then they want a couple million bucks. What? <laughs> you know, there's one thing the fundamentals of the game. You ought to tell them about, hey, you guys can close your eyes, I'm going to blindfold your ass. He said. There was a coach, honestly, guy, years ago. He did do that one guy. Not practice. He blindfolded the guys. Huh? What do you do in the second half of this year? Is he official in the second half? Blindfold? Huh? Boot, that's uh, Burns in the center. So we're getting all these overs and unders, but really basically six in the box type of things. Now the guy is down here in a one, 
So he did take a gap step on that one technique here. Again, <clears throat> now with him removed, he, he can come down like this now. Now this is a little bit better by the kid. But again, try to get that stalemate here. Can we go back to that last one? Yeah. You're using a one technique, it's okay if I tackle and turn his shoulders a little more inside. Yeah, because he's just going just up. Protect each, it and then yeah. go back up the field. Because he's going to be taking that angle now. See what I'm saying, Bob? Mm -hmm. There's nothing there. He knows there isn't really a double team here. You know what I mean? He just protected from the spin. He's pr protected right here, that's all. You know, he's going to come on down, but he knows he's not going to have a double team in all probability. If anything, he's just going to get a chip there. Okay, now take a look at this. Okay, now uh, we'll run this, you know, into this bubble and make a call to let the backside guard know that hey, he's got this stub linebacker. You got me? Now we also know number count wise that us two right here that we've got we've got this. You see what I'm saying? How about this poor ass umpire? Look at this one. Look at him. Look at him. Poor son of a bitch is trying to. There's no place to hide. <laughs> now, when you're doing this one, you got to really spend some time getting this all coordinated here. It's the same for these two, but they know by the nature of the play, the name of the play, that they got the first line back tight. So they know they got this. But you've got to make damn sure that this backside guard now realizes that he's got a trap in the line of scrimmage. 